the CEO of Stellantis Jeep has expressed skepticism about an entirely electric future. In response, he has unveiled an innovative compressed air engine that promises to redefine the automotive landscape. This groundbreaking technology is so advanced that it has caught the entire auto industry off guard. The exciting part? It offers a way to sustain combustion vehicles with a remarkable fuel efficiency of 120 mpg and reduces tailpipe emissions by nearly 99%. As bans on combustion engines loom and global authorities nudge consumers towards electric vehicles, what options exist for those not entirely sold on EVs? Enter the compressed air engine, presenting itself as a viable alternative that could resonate with many. You might wonder about its release date, pricing, and the nuances politicians must reveal about EVs. Let's dive deep into those details. Over the decades, there have been multiple explorations into alternative fuels. However, the risk-averse nature of major automakers often hindered significant breakthroughs. This narrative is set to shift. Stellantis and Jeep are on the brink of launching a transformative hybrid air powertrain. This 2-litre compressed air engine ingeniously merges petrol and compressed air, resulting in unparalleled fuel efficiency. The engine incorporates a compressed air tank, a low-pressure tank and a hydraulic system, all synchronised for peak performance. Stellantis is forging ahead with a new breed of engines that could challenge the dominance of EVs. However, the innovation doesn't stop there. These engines come equipped with a state-of-the-art transmission system, boasting a remarkable fuel efficiency of nearly 55 miles per gallon. And the story gets even better when discussing their approach to environmental conservation. Jeep has successfully slashed its average weighted CO2 emissions to a mere 5% of current internal combustion vehicles. The journey began in 2014 when Stellantis introduced the world to compressed air engines, notably with the Peugeot 308. This engine's efficiency gains momentum through minimized internal friction and the strategic deployment of lock-up clutch converters, ensuring zero slippage. The strides made in CO2 emission reductions across different models are truly commendable. The crown jewel, however, is Peugeot's proprietary integration of selective catalytic reduction combined with a particulate filter fortified with special additives. This innovative blend achieves a reduction in emissions by an impressive 90% while eradicating 99.9% .9 of particulates. So, what's the secret behind this remarkable achievement? How can a vehicle achieve such unparalleled fuel efficiency and drastically reduced emissions? Consider the well-known battery electric hybrid vehicles of today, like the Toyota Prius. Now, take a moment to visualize those hefty batteries being replaced by compressed air. That's precisely the innovation Jeep brings with its hybrid air technology, where compressed air acts as an energy reservoir. An ingenious hydraulic pump motor setup harnesses energy from both the internal combustion engine and braking processes, storing this energy in the form of compressed air. This design represents a masterpiece of engineering innovation. The hybrid air system is not just smart, it's exceptionally intuitive. It offers drivers three distinct modes, gas only, air only, and a combined mode. Thanks to its sophisticated electronic management system, the vehicle automatically toggles between these modes based on driving conditions. For instance, cruising on a freeway. The system predominantly leans on the IC. However, during city drives, when the pace drops below 45 miles per hour, it effortlessly transitions to using air power. The perks of this system, especially for city commuters, are substantial. Jeep asserts that the hybrid air system can diminish fuel consumption by an impressive 50%. And the wonders don't end there. Vehicles fitted with this system might witness a range surge of up to 90% in comparison to standard engines with similar power output. And here's the real game changer. In urban environments, these hybrid air-powered vehicles can function solely on air for an astonishing 60 to 80% of the drive time. 
PSA is rigorously testing this groundbreaking prototype and targets a combined fuel efficiency of a staggering 120 miles per gallon. But here's another critical question. What's the price tag? Carlos Tavares, the visionary CEO of Stellantis and Jeep, is already a step ahead. By negating the necessity for expensive battery packs typical in most hybrid vehicles, the hybrid air system is not only lighter on the pocket, but also simpler in design, installation and upkeep. Furthermore, it provides design versatility for the interior cabin without encroaching on the cargo area. One might wonder, why is the head of Jeep so skeptical about the electric revolution? Once celebrated as the beacon of hope for our planet, the EV movement now faces critical examination, with Carlos Tavares at the forefront of this scrutiny. As the CEO of Stellantis, which oversees a collective of 12 automotive powerhouses such as Jeep, Ram, Chrysler and Dodge, Tavares has provided a counter-narrative to the prevailing EV discourse. During the inaugural Freedom of Mobility Forum, spearheaded by Stellantis, he presented a nuanced perspective on the electric transition. His main apprehension? The looming threat of resource scarcity. The presumption that there's an ample supply of lithium for EV batteries may be more optimistic than practical. And even assuming there's sufficient lithium, the regulatory and geopolitical challenges surrounding its extraction might impede a smooth shift to EVs. What if the move to EVs results in the rapid exhaustion of rare earth metals essential for batteries while simultaneously exacerbating carbon emissions? The notion of outrightly banning internal combustion vehicles coupled with the launch of EVs with prohibitive price tags, limited range and arguably superfluous tech raises eyebrows. In the European Union, Germany took a bold stance against internal combustion vehicles, a sentiment that resonated with car magnates like BMW and Porsche, who are concurrently exploring alternative fuel avenues. The economic ramifications of the EV transition are equally significant. With EVs typically costing 40% more than their IC counterparts, imposing a ban on combustion engines may escalate consumer prices. We've witnessed soaring prices with models like the Ford F-150 Lightning breaching the $100,000 mark, and upcoming EV models don't seem to buck this trend. Tavares remarked, It's clear that manufacturing EVs is expensive, but transferring this financial burden onto consumers isn't a sustainable solution. Tavares, while recognising the regulatory pressures pushing the Go Electric or Go Extinct narrative, proposed an alternative achieve a swift average reduction of 50% in carbon dioxide emissions. His strategy? Replace vehicles aged 15 to 18 years with state-of-the-art counterparts, such as their innovative compressed air engine. Meanwhile, other automotive juggernauts, including General Motors, Ford, Hyundai and Rivian, are wrestling with the spiralling costs of battery components. The introduction of new EV tax credit incentives, which favour vehicles produced domestically, adds another layer of complexity to the equation. The automotive landscape appears to be on unstable foundations, influenced by policies that may lean more towards fragmentation than unity. Interestingly, even Jeep hasn't been untouched by these evolving market dynamics. Despite Tavares' reservations about the electric momentum, Jeep introduced the Grand Cherokee 4XE its maiden plug-in hybrid. Given the Grand Cherokee's storied reputation, this hybrid iteration is anticipated to garner strong sales, though it signifies a pivot from Jeep's iconic lineage. What implications does this have for consumers? Stellantis's groundbreaking compressed air engine is undeniably the talk of the town within automotive circles. It's a daring endeavour, and if successful, it could redefine our perceptions of transportation. Yet, it remains to be seen whether this hybrid air innovation will live up to its transformative potential. With powerhouse automakers deeply entrenched in the EV paradigm, any shift from this path might stir unrest within the broader industry.